everybody and welcome to Disabilities Redefined with Dr. Wagner. I am yours truly, Dr. Truett Wagner, with my beautiful co-host. Thank you, Truett. Tamara Morgan, and I am so delighted to be here tonight. Well, as you see, we have a special show. We're in the art gallery at York College, City University of New York, and we have a very, very exclusive exhibition going on. It is entitled Art Defined, Disabilities Redefined. And what we have done is we have put together a collection of the finest art students from the City University of New York who just happen to be disabled. And as you will see in this footage, they are perhaps some of the most talented artists in New York today. I concur. I was blown away by every piece that I saw here. It is evocative of every emotion and every reason of why people create art. It is expressive of your soul, your happiness, and your connection with others. And I, I'm thrilled. Yes, really art is amazing, right? Art is, is amazing. Is yes, art is amazing. You know, I am an artist. I'm a writer. Ah, that's and right. as you know, that's and, right. and yes, yes right. absolutely. And you're a visual artist. I am. I'm yes. a painter, a drawer, an etcher, now more of a digital artist, but I am happily embracing that world as well. Well, let's just show them some of this footage and okay. um, yeah, we'll see you back in the studio. <laughs> Your work is it somewhere in between? Yes, no, are you, are you, you? That the students are extremely talented, and an event like this is very important to showcase their skills, their talents, and um, to let the world know, you know, that the students have disabilities, but they also have amazing abilities as well. I feel like there's lots of vibrant and truly expressive art in this show. Um, for example, this piece, um, every shape has its own energy, its own color. I said, yes, this is something that York should promote. This is something that will get these artists some exposure. And it will also give the artist a boost in terms of continuing to make their work, continuing to engage with the visual. That's what this gallery is all about. And I happen to be standing right next to one of our premiere, the back wall, the wall that's featured that you can see when you walk into the gallery, see from the outside of the gallery, James Rizzuti. Hi. Um, whose work is dynamic, a little scary, yeah. a lot of fun to engage with. Maybe you could tell us a bit about what inspires you. Monsters and creatures, uh, hybrids. I like hybrids, like these beings that are like part this and part that. You know, half animal and half man is something that is consistent with the paintings I make and the drawings I make. Okay. Yeah. When I went back to school for the first time five years ago, and uh, I was at Kingsborough, but uh, I took a painting class there in my first year, and I've always been I've been drawing forever, so it kind of just the drawing and the painting came together, and it really felt just right. Change. Trouble. 